Welcome back to another punch technology video where today we're going to be attempting to tackle this issue where our secure boot is enabled but not active. So if we take a look at this screen right now, I'm going to demonstrate what the issue is. If I go and enable secure boot, I will get this message that pops up here. I'll explain this in a second. Um, we're still not active, but perhaps when we reset by pressing F10 to save and exit, you would expect that to then allow um, secure boot to be working. But if we have a look here, when we head back into the secure boot settings, we'll find that it is still not active, even though we've just enabled it. So I covered this exact topic in a video last week. However, some people were asking the question a little differently. So I'm just making this video as well so that some of you that maybe didn't come across the last video will be able to find this information. Before you go ahead and do this, do make sure to watch my main video on how to enable secure boot because this also explains to you how to convert your drive from MBR to GPT which you need to do if you plan to enable secure boots. And it also will cover how to do this on AMD and Intel platforms. Before we get into this, I just want to answer a few questions which I was getting on the last video. The first thing is, will this delete your information? No, it will not delete your information. If you get a black screen after enabling secure boots where your just display stops working, what you need to do is update your BIOS and that should solve that issue. If you can't find secure boot, what you need to do is make sure that CSM support is disabled. If we have a look here and head back, we have our secure boot menu down here, but if CSM support is enabled, the secure boot menu disappears. It's, it's not down here at all now. So make sure that CSM support is disabled and that way we can get into the secure boot menu. Lastly, if you can't even find the CSM menu, then you might want to check in the settings tab over here or in the tweak tab. And if you still can't find it, you might need to update your BIOS again to find the setting. So let's go ahead and just fix this problem. What you'll either have is it'll say setup or user mode at the very top here. What we need to do, even though I've now enabled secure boots, we are going to come down and the easiest way to do this might be just to change this to custom and then change it back to standard and press yes. Although on this message, which is kind of odd, just press no, it says reset without saving, which we don't want to do. So just press no. And you may notice at the very top now, it's changed to deployed. So I know in my case, if I restart the system now, this is going to work. However, if this still does not work for you, you can attempt to change this back to custom and reset factory keys and just press yes. And again, it'll ask you reset without saving, which you just want to press no, because you do want to save this. Now that we've reset the factory keys, let's just press F10 to save and exit. We will head back into the BIOS and just check that secure boot is now enabled. So we head over to secure boot we can see that it is now enabled and active there in the BIOS. And just as a final check, we're going to head into Windows. We are going to look at our system information. And from in there, we'll be able to see that secure boot right there is set on. So that will cover today's video. I really hope this information reaches more people because I'm still getting comments on some of my older videos uh, that the exact same questions. If this video has helped you, please make sure to leave a comment if you've got any more questions, subscribe and hit the bell icon because if this video has helped you, maybe the next one will too. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.